Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a crochet heart garland and we are going to be putting five hearts on here but once you've made one heart then you can put as many hearts on as you like and then you're just literally threading a string through your hearts and then you can make it as long as you like. I'm going to be using double knit yarn and this is exactly the same one as I used for the crochet flower video which I'll link here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I would love you to. I bring out videos like this all the time and I would love you to join the community. So here we go. First of all we're going to make our slip knot and we're going to start with the bottom of the heart. So we're going to chain one or we'll chain two actually. Then you're gonna pop your hook through, so pretty much turn and then pull through. So the second chain from the hook, you're gonna put your hook through that one and then you're gonna pull up a loop, chain one and then pull up another loop and chain another one, okay? So that's the bottom of your heart. And then you're gonna chain another one, turn, and then the first hole here, you're gonna just pop your hook through, pull up a loop, and do one, and then put your hook through the second one, and then, oops, make sure you go under that V, and go two, and then if you do another one in that that one, so that's, you've got three, okay? That's the bottom of your heart. And then you're gonna carry on increasing. So you're gonna chain one, turn, and then one, and two, and the same one. And then another one, and then one, Two, so you've got five across. So you've got two, a line of two, a row of two, a row of three, and then a row of five. And then you're going to chain and turn. And then just go all the way across without increasing. And then you're going to chain and then turn then you're going to start increasing from here so you're going to go two in the end one here and then three across and then two okay so you've made a little triangle here and then you're just gonna increase again. So we're gonna chain one, turn, and then we're gonna just go across these seven stitches here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then you're going to chain two turn so we're going to do a link double crochet stitch so we're going to go one pull up a loop and two pull up a loop pull through and then pull through two we'll do that again so one pull up a loop, two, pull up a loop, pull through, pull through two, okay, and then we're going to link, stitch, but then just pull through all three like that, and then we're going to slip into the middle stitch, pull up, slip through, and then we're going to chain two, yarn over, and now we're going to link again. So link, pull up a loop, 
and link, pull up a loop, and then pull through two, and pull through again. And then we're gonna link, pull up a loop, link, pull up a loop, pull through, and then pull through two. And then we're gonna link, pull up, link, and pull up, and do that again. And if you wanna make it bigger, by all means you can. And we are actually gonna be doing this 10 times. So we're gonna make 10 hearts. That sounds a bit excessive, but that is gonna be for each side. So once you've done these hearts, then you can sew them into each other. Just gonna chop that off here. And it might look a little bit blocky, but don't worry about that. Just cause you're gonna, you're gonna sort that out. Okay, so then you will take your heart, pull that through. And then kind of make it look like another stitch and don't worry too much about the ends you're gonna stuff this heart so you can um tuck them in you will need some toy filling as well so that's one of your hearts okay then what you're gonna do is pull through and then Weave in the ends of here. Just cut these quite short. And then you're gonna take another piece of yarn and starting from the middle, just make attach to there in the middle and then you're going to single crochet around okay so that's one stitch two stitch three stitches, four stitches, five, six, and you continue all the way down until you get to the bottom of your heart. Don't worry about those, you can tuck them in later. So when we get to the bottom, we're going to stuff our heart with this little stuffing here. So just a little bit in there, just don't stuff too much in. And then you are going to go in, pull through, and this kind of gives a nice little border as well when you're single crocheting all the way around. There you go. There's your heart. Really pretty. You can have it whatever way you want. And then you can just finish it off. And all the little bits you can just make sure they're all tucked in. And then do exactly the same with this bit. Okay. 
and there you have your first crochet heart. So you just want to do this four more times. If you need to, go back to the start of the video and then just repeat that four more times. I'll meet you back when you've done four more of these hearts and then we'll put the bunting part on. Now we have our five hearts and they look like this. And I just got my nails done by the way, so they're a bit different to the, what they were before. All I'm gonna do is thread this through each heart. So whatever you've got lying around, if you've got some twine, if you've got some thin ribbon, then go for that. Um, I'm gonna put this across my fireplace because I think it looks really nice. So I'm just gonna thread through the back here. And then pop them all on. One, two. And then all you need to do is just space them out. <clears throat> I'm gonna make mine probably about one and a half meters long. I think they look really, really cute. Hi, it's Kat here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've just noticed that 91% of you are not actually subscribed yet. So I would love you to hit that subscribe button, show me some love and I will show it right back to you. I absolutely love you and you watching these videos. All I wanna do is create new videos for you to watch all the time. I really, really hope that you'll join me next time. See you then, bye.